be great to everybody that I'm supposed to bring light to, that everybody I'm supposed to impact. I believe that's what I'm supposed to do. You may not be the person that stands out on the street corner. You may be in the office, in the 501 building. You may be someone that's with the homeless people are. Wherever you are, just be great. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything. But you can be everything that God has called you to be. If you don't know who I am, my name is Cherry. And, I and so the next brother today. I'm bringing up, I didn't even know he was worldwide, you know, nationwide. I just asked him to come and do me a favor. The next brother I'm bringing up, uh, his name is Donald Green. Get your cameras out, it's Donald Green, baby! And uh, he has an incredible story. Um, I met him, um, and uh, y'all gotta hear him, he's cold. Like, I just, you know, I wouldn't bring y'all anybody, but he's cold. So I'm gonna let Donald tell his whole story. And uh, y'all give it up for him one more time. What's up, boys, Stacia, I'll see you. Hey, everybody give it up one time for Stacia and the Hope Bless for doing this for the community, man, and bringing us all together. So my name is Dollar Green. Uh, I would like, so I'm going to perform. Yeah, I want to I speak real quick to why Stacia asked me to be here because that's because uh, in 2005, I found myself at the bottom of a barrel. This shirt is where I came from, right? I'm a drug addict. I'm a person in recovery. I've been sober since 2006. That's because I broke down. Let's go. That's because, that's because I broke down on my mama's couch because I was broke, busted, living with my mama still. And I said, God, please change my life. I don't want to live like this no more. Right? So I'm going to perform. I'm going to perform a couple songs for you all off this new project that I'm working on. But I want you to understand who I am and where I'm coming from. My name is Dollar Green, and I do wear several hats in our community. I met Stay Shell because of my commitment to being an ally in this conversation about Black Life Mattering. In addition to that, I, uh, I'm on the board of directors at the Volunteers of America, which is the treatment center that I got sober from. I'm on the advisory council for restorative justice to where we disrupt the school to prison pipeline because that's what I got caught up in. I'm laying my life down for it, right? So uh, if y'all would, I'm gonna perform a, a couple songs for you all. We do have a camera crew here and I'm creating footage for my visuals for the Face Off. That's why I'm here, is the project Face Off is about where I stand here publicly and I tell you I'm a dope fiend. I recover out loud, right? So um, let me talk to you. Look, I just need a minute. I'ma tell you about a boy who was never gonna be. He grew up addicted. He didn't have no siblings, but still everything he had, he had to share with mental illness. His mama had it. And it was just them. It was them against the world. And them against the system, they were caught up in a trap designed to keep a slave in prison. Let me talk to you. Are you even paying attention? I said they were caught up in a trap designed to keep a slave in prison. That's the 13th Amendment. Yep. They say the sky's the limit. Sky's not the limit. I mean, who you kidding? He knew that was just a gimmick. How somebody touched the sky when he can't even touch the ceiling of the trailer that he lived in. It was broken down and lived in. She went to work, he was alone, the one that cared about how he's feeling, and his mama was depressed, so he knew she wasn't trying to hear it. Every day she say she wanna die, keep on begging God to end it. He just hiding in his room and act like he don't even hear it. He wished to go away, but it keeps coming back to visit. Now she crying on the phone, keeps saying the word evicted. He didn't know what it meant, but he knew it would change how he was living. Look. He was only nine, but in his mind, he had to fix it. And he had heard mention of God, Tom, but it was faint and only whispers. And if his father didn't want him, then how's the one in heaven different? Woo. Yeah, the struggle's real. Let's go, y'all. Yeah. I watched him live it. This record is for anyone been caught up in that system or who's ever been to sleep with no heat, no lights, cold nights. Nothing but heat from a stove pipe, but this about the boy and his mama, they were so tight. A trauma bond, he would seek that out his whole life. She persevered, never cared what kind of purse she wear. She lived for him, but looking at him, she couldn't help but feel all the pain in her heart his dad had left her there. She never left him there. If she wasn't crying about a man, she was crying over late bills, and he was 13 when he sold his first pain pill. It was the same still. It didn't change nothing. She went to work more than the boy. He stayed blind. She moved the man in. The boy would take from him. He sell his weed at school. He loved to make money. They went from state funded 
to shrimp and steak market. She knew what he's doing, but she wouldn't say nothing. She was never scared, but when it comes to the boy, she was afraid of him. She find guns and drugs and she would pray for him. It was too late for him. There was no turning back because he would spend 20 and get 100 back. He fell in love with that. He couldn't get enough of it. By high school, you could get anything you want from him. Still wasn't enough for him. Was never enough for him. It wasn't the drugs, y'all. It was what they done for him. His mother told him it wouldn't last if they would come for him. They come for him. Had guns drawn. Talk about get down on the ground for him. They found more than enough. He wouldn't go down for him. They hold it down for him. I mean, he had connections until his girl started messing with his best friend. Then his next friend. Then his next friend. Yeah. He began to question everything these rappers ever said because it was real different. His definition and as of what was real, different. He started to feel different. Realized that no one was here with him. There was nobody down the ride. Nobody sitting in the cell with them. The, with them. This would be the end of his story. Victory over hardship. He's built for him. He killed for him. Another chance to rewrite his story. He grabbed a pen. He wrote the script for him. He had a gift for it. Something like a sixth sense. He packed his bags, man, and he ain't seen the pen since. As sentence did exactly what it was supposed to do. He swallowed pride and did what people that are sober do. He told the truth, trusted God and cleaned his mess up. They told him if he kept going, be like he never even messed up. Within a couple of years, the boy was blessed up. He used his story to help others who had messed up. As a matter of fact, the rumor has it that he's still at it. He makes music, they say it helps heal addicts. He was real bad once. He's helping them through real battles. Real battles most know nothing about. So that's the story of the boy, and of course there's more to it. Maybe next time we'll get more into it. There's a ball to it. Something for you to think on, y'all. You should think on it. I'm Dollar Green, y'all. DJ No Boy, y'all give it up. Let's go, DJ No Boy on the ones and twos. Cue that one, No Boy, for just a second. I want to talk about it real quick. This is about being great, because I remember when I was little. And I just wanted to be great. I was in a trap, man. And I, I wanted to be great. Like, I look around me, and I knew I could be better than what it was. And I just wanted to be great. So this is the uh, one of the songs off the Face Off album. Let's go, no, bro, when you're ready. Yo. Yo.
want to be great. He just said, I just want to be great. And so I don't know how you feel about it, but for me and my legacy, I just want to be great. And for the rocket, looking great or being great doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to have all the financial things. It doesn't mean I'm going to have the brand new car. But if I know I'm taking good of my mental health and I'm doing good on the inside, that means I can be great. I can be everything that God has called me to be. I don't call you from the project, from the block. God can change anybody. And at the end of the day, I just want to be great. Hey, that gave me some, some excitement right there. I just want to be great. I just want to be great, great. I just want to be great, great. I just want to be great, great. I just want to be, I just want to be, I just want to be great. Great. I just wanna be great, great. I just wanna be great, great. I just wanna be, I just wanna be. Yes, that right there, it goes hard. Thank you, my brother. Let's give it up for one more time because at the end of the day, you may not ever know my name, you may not ever know my story, but I just wanna be great to everybody that I'm supposed to bring light to, that everybody I'm supposed to impact. I believe that's what I'm supposed to do. You may not be the person that stands out on the street corner. You may be in the office, in the 501 building. You may be someone that's in where the homeless people are. Wherever you are, just be great. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything. But you can be everything that God has called you to be. I remember me and mama in the kitchen eating ramen. We just glad to wear something.